All right, so again, thank you for participating. We are going to move on because we do have a show to do, a news story, Ray, that I thought you would find interesting. It's out of uh, Tulsa, <coughs> Oklahoma. A uh, captain with the Tulsa Police Department. We have a good friend who is a captain on that department, uh, mm -hmm. Travis Yates, one of our academy team leaders, and he is now the director of 10-4 Ministries, which I had started oh, yes. back in the day. Uh, ca uh, Travis knows. We're profiling that in next week's update. Profiling 10-4 Ministries? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just sort of friends of the well, ministry. Uh, hang on now. Um, <coughs> you know, before I came on in the ministry and I was leading 10-4 Ministries, I... You weren't special then. Okay. You're special now. All right. So we'll profile you sometime. <laughs> That's okay. When you guys decided not to profile me, and I was still serving as a deputy, I was profiling all of you. So. <laughs> but that's, a, that's another story. But anyway. <laughs> all right. Oklahoma police captain faces disciplinary action for refusing to attend an Islamic event. Here's the story. The Tulsa Police Department is investigating a captain who refused an order to assign officers to, an attend, to attend an upcoming Islamic event because he said it would violate his religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. He is a committed follower of Jesus Christ. Um, Captain Paul Fields was reassigned after he refused to order officers under his command to attend the Islamic Center of Tulsa's Law Enforcement Appreciation Day, a spokesman for the department said. It is my opinion and that, that of my legal counsel that forcing me to enter a mosque when it is not directly related to a police call for service is a violation of my civil rights. <coughs> uh, Fields wrote in an internal police memo. Uh, I have no problem with officers attending on a volunteer basis. However, I take exception to requiring officers to attend this event. Fields wrote in an email to his supervisor officer obtained by Fox News, and that's who this story comes from. I believe this directive to be an unlawful order as it is in direct conflict with my personal religious convictions. Tulsa Police Chief Chuck Jordan told Fox 23 TV the event was about community relations, not religion. Uh, this was not religious, he said. I would never assign a police officer to participate in religious services, he told the TV station. This is about a group who bonded together because of their religion. Oh, that means we are not going there because they are Islamic. We are going there because they are Tulsa citizens. However, according to a promotional flyer for the event, the Islamic event included not just food and entertainment, but presentations on beliefs, human rights, and women. That would be an interesting... It would be. Uh, Yes. A presentation on women in an Islamic mosque. Uh, they would also be able to watch a Muslim <coughs> prayer service and take a tour of the mosque. It's That's up exciting. to you, the flyer said. Um, I Ibrahim Hooper, the spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations, called the inc incident an example of anti Muslim bigotry. Now, this is an interesting side note to this. I, I did a short mission trip. Uh, to Tulsa with mm. 10-4 Ministries. That's how I got to meet Travis Yates and become fast friends. And, and uh, I visited a number of departments in that area. And then at the end of the week, we had an officer appreciation service at the sponsoring church. We let all the officers know that they were welcome to come. Uh, can you imagine if word got out that a chief of police ordered officers to attend a Christian church service. ACLU would be on to that. All <laughs> over it. I don't hear the ACLU anywhere in, no. in this uh, situation, but uh, yeah. So I, it's still under investigation. I, I got word from Travis a couple of days ago that uh, they're still trying to work out an agreement beyond between all the parties, but uh, thank God for this captain who took a stand for his faith and said, no, I'm not, I'm well, not going to go there. Sure is the crime of the century, isn't it? Yeah. But just another example of... Uh, you know, how everyone is trying to placate the Muslim community mm. to the point of ordering officers to go into yeah. a mosque, it's crazy. you know, just for a community event. And so, Chad, any thoughts on that? Uh, nothing real big. I mean, I just don't think you should have to go if you don't want to go. Yeah. Simple enough. Yeah. And, you know, the captain made it very clear. Look, if I'm, I'm going to serve people the same, regardless of what they believe, mm. if I'm called to that mosque on a call for service or help or something like that, I'm going to go. And right. so would I. Mm. But that's different than ordering officers to go to what will be a religious right. service. Yeah. All right. I 